Hello, everyone. Oh, that light is perfect. Um, my name is, can you all hear me? Yes. yes. Great. Okay. My name is Natalie Buscini. I am in Howard County's Office of Community Sustainability, and I am in the office as a Chesapeake Conservation Corps member. So a little into that, I work with the energy manager in their office. Her name is Leah Miller. And, yeah, okay. So a brief introduction to what the Chesapeake Conservation Corps is. I didn't know what it was before I got into the program and to give you guys a little insight into what I do and what the other people in the program do. So it is through the Chesapeake Bay Trust and this is from their website about what the program is. So the Chesapeake Conservation Corps increases access and opportunities to green careers across the Chesapeake Bay watershed. So a lot of us are all throughout um, not just Maryland, but essentially we are really focusing on the Chesapeake Bay watershed and helping to protect it. So the program supports and trains the next generation of stewards and professions that restore and protect our environment and natural resources, ensuring a healthy place for all of us to live. Now we're going to get right into what LED light bulb exchanges are. So some of you may know what it is, or you may have gone to one of the events I've done, or the previous CCC member has done as well. So this is just to kind of inform you guys about what it is, and then I'll get right into what we do at the events and the data we have so far from all of the LEDs we've given out. So essentially what happens is we set up an event I have done them at the 50 plus centers. We've also done one at a community center. And people will bring in their bulbs that specifically we like to look for the CFL and incandescent bulbs. And so they'll bring them in and we will give them free LEDs that we have gotten from VGE. So essentially just showing that, bring in your CFL and your incandescent bulbs and we will give you free LEDs. Hold on. Okay. Sorry, this thing is barking. Okay, so you may think, why are LEDs more efficient than CFL and incandescent bulbs? It is a multitude of factors. So we talk about brightness, energy efficiency in general, lifespan, and environmental impact. So for brightness, that essentially is how bright the bulb is in terms of the lumens and relation to their wattage. So LEDs have 89 watts per, I'm sorry, 89 lumens per watts, and CFLs have 70 lumens per watts, and incandescents have only 15 lumens per watts. So LEDs have the higher brightness, which means that it will be able to use less energy. Okay, so energy efficiency. So this is really important because Every of the three types of bulbs, as you can see up there, have a different types of way that they produce energy. And LEDs use um, the electrons in their production to produce the electricity. While the CFLs has the mercury and the argon gases, and that is what makes the electricity. And in the incandescent one, you can see the little filament. That is what creates a high temperature, and then it glows and produces the electricity. So you would want a bulb that has a lower number of lumens per watt. So the LEDs have eight watts, the CFLs have 60 watts, and the incandescent bulbs have only 15 watts. So since the LEDs have a lower wattage, they will be more energy efficient. They don't need as much watts to produce electricity. Okay, so lifespan. This is in, relevation, um, in relation to the number of hours a bulb will last for. Ideally, you want a bulb that will last you many, many years and many hours. So LEDs have the highest lifespan and the longest lifespan. They will last for over 25,000 hours, which is great. And CFLs will last up to 10,000, while the incandescent only last about 750 to 12, um, 100, I'm sorry, 1,200. So you want LEDs mainly because, yes, they last longer, but also because they will have better energy use in your home or your business. So in terms of which bulb is the most energy efficient, you can look at the brightness of it, the 
energy efficiency of it, the lifespan, and the environmental impact. So this is very important when choosing a light bulb because you also want to look at the creation of the bulb and have the environmental impacts that that has on the environment. So from high to low, incandescent has a high, the highest environmental impact due to the greenhouse gas emissions that are released when it is produced. CFLs have a medium impact because they have the mercury in them, and if a CFL breaks, that can lead to mercury poisoning. And so that is why when I do an LED exchange, I always have a CFL cleanup kit so that if it does happen, we take the measures we can to protect you and anyone else who may be in the scene when that happens. And then LEDs have the lowest because they are the most energy efficient and they will have a longer lifespan in your house and they will continue to use that energy for you in the long run. Okay, so in terms of LED exchanges in general, so the last uh, Chesapeake Conservation Corps member she started doing one-off events. Essentially, she would just set up an event at a location, and that would be the place where they would bring the LEDs and people could come and drop off their bulbs. And the problem with that is that since it was a one-off event, a lot of people didn't have access to come. It was only for a few hours in a day, and that meant that people couldn't bring their CFLs and incandescent bulbs. So I thought, why not just have it be an ongoing program? So we actually have started doing that, on February 13th at two of the libraries in Howard County. So if you're interested, we have those at the Anchorage Library and the East Columbia Library. And it is an ongoing program, which is great. So you can just go during business hours, drop off your CFL or incandescent bulbs, and they will give you free LEDs um, in exchange. So it's really great. Uh, this data I just wanted to show you is from those few events that the past uh, Chesapeake Conservation Corps member did. So she handed out 688 LEDs and also um, received 201 bulbs. And that is a combination of the CFLs, the incandescent bulbs, and there's usually a small proportion of LEDs people bring in, which is still great. Those are very welcome. And so this is the data we have so far from the two libraries. And so as you can see, it started on February 13th, and this is data we have until March 6th. We have not received the tally sheets yet. So we're, we're hoping to get those soon. And so as you can see, the East Columbia Library has had a higher proportion of CFL and incandescent bulbs. But that doesn't diminish how well Elkridge is doing as well. So the blue is showing the number of CFLs we've collected. The incandescent bulbs are showing that they're in the orange. And then we, this graph is a little different from the last one because the way that we set the program up is whenever the library staff give out <coughs> LEDs, it's in a four pack, so it's not individual. So that's why when you see LED four pack in the gray, it doesn't look substantial, but if you multiply those numbers in gray by four, it's very substantial. So we're handing out a lot of bulbs, we're promoting energy efficiency, and that is the main goal of the program and the project. So a few quick things to add before I finish. Um, the really fun part about doing these types of events is I bring so many resources from my Office of Community Sustainability, and I also bring a lot of different resources about the different programs we do in Howard County in general. So I usually like to bring some VGE handouts about how you can save energy if you wanted to, to use one of their programs. I bring handouts on how you can save energy, not just at home, but also at work, because that's always something that a lot of workplaces are really trying to promote as well. And I also like to bring a lot of information on community solar. That is becoming a really popular thing, and it's becoming much more accessible for people who may not have access to get them or can't have them on their roof. So we like to talk about our partnership we're building with Neighborhood Sun. They are really a great forefront people about talking about community solar and how easy it is to get involved and all the different types of steps you take if you wanted to. And so the, really the main goal of this talk was to discuss what LED exchanges are, what we like to do with them, the data we have so far, and just kind of how we can use these LED exchanges to reach Maryland's greenhouse gas emission goals. That is very important in Howard County, and so that is the main goal of that. And I hope you guys enjoy
enjoyed this talk, and if you have any questions about the LED ink changes in general, you can come see me afterwards once everyone's done chatting. And yeah, the progress about the libraries. I look forward to your questions. Thank you.